Okay folks, so this is a stop motion tutorial. I'm going to show you first how to do it in the built-in Windows video editor and then I'm going to show you what you have to do if you want to do it in DaVinci Resolve. So remember the idea of stop motion in general is just um, taking multiple photos that were taken very quickly and putting them together to play them quickly. So essentially actual footage from like a camera or a movie is about 30 to 60 frames per second. I believe it's 30 if I remember correctly, or 29 point something. So essentially that means that you have 30 pictures that go by each second and that's why it looks fluid, it looks like a video. But a video by default is just a bunch of scrolling pictures. So stop motion is recording using pictures rather than a video but then animating it by playing them quickly beside each other. So if we switch to my display here, to get Windows Video Editor, it should be built into Windows 10. So you can see I have a shortcut here, but if you just type Video Editor, it should pop up and it's a built-in app. It's connected to the Photos app. When that pops up, yours is probably not gonna have this grid of videos. I was using it fairly consistently last year. But all you need to do is you need to click this new project button. And you should see something like this. You're going to need to rename it. So I'm going to say stop motion um, video. And then you're good to go. Now it's fairly simple. You have your media library. You have your storyboard on the bottom, which is kind of like a timeline where you have all of your stuff in the video. You have a playback area. And then at the top, you have a couple options here, like undo, redo, background music, or custom audio, depending on what you're doing, and finish video. Now, what you have to do is you have to navigate and find your um, stop animation photos. So for me, I'm going to go over here, and I have some Northern Lights photos. And to select a bunch of stuff, you can either hold control and then click each photo, or if you click on the first one and then hold shift and click on the last one, it'll select everything. This applies for both Mac and Windows. Once you do that, you should be able to drag them in, and you'll end up with something like this. So now all of your photos are in here. They should be in order by default, no matter if you renamed them or not, because uh, photos from a camera have a serial number and that's already in order. So once they're here, they're all selected when you put them in, so the easiest way to get started is literally just to hit place in the storyboard. And that'll place them all on the storyboard. So now you have your photos here, but when you hit play, they're going to go fairly slowly. You'll see it takes three seconds to switch between each one. So to fix this, you're going to click just one of the photos in the storyboard, so the selection is here. And if you hit Control A, that selects all of the stuff in the timeline. So then you can go up here and you can change the duration of everything. Now if we want to do stop motion, we're looking around 10 frames per second, maybe a bit more than that. So you could do 0.1. I would recommend in this do 0 0.1 or 0 0.15. So 0 0.15 is a bit less than 10 frames per second, but it'll help you stretch out a bit if you didn't have as many photos. So I'm going to hit 0 0.15, and you're going to see every single photo change to 0 <coughs> 0 0.15. So now, if you hit play, you're going to see they're going to scroll through quickly because each of these is only a fraction of a second. So now you have it animated. In essence, you're done. Um, you can add background music that's built in, or you can add a custom audio file. This is where you can add sound effects or add some music for the background, or maybe your personal dialogue. Um, I would recommend adding something just so it's not just silent, but that's how you add audio. And then if you need to maybe repeat this, 
you could always go and drag all these in as well or you can select all then you can do control C to copy and you can go control V and it should paste but it might not right now so to deselect you click up here and then if you click here Uh, that didn't quite work okay so once you're finished that you go up to finish video and you are gonna use medium quality or 720p um, this is still considered HD it's just not full HD 1080p but the reason you want medium is because 720p is about a quarter the size of 1080p so it'll help with your upload speeds and general speed of rendering and then you just hit export and it'll ask you where to save it so you pick where you want to save that so let's say we're gonna go to ah we'll just send it to pictures export and it's when it finishes it'll pop up like this so now you have a video file that animates those photos